game console repairs. In this video, I'll be showing how to perform reset glitch modification on Corona version 1 16 MB motherboard. Uh, we'll be using Team Executor a suite of tools. Uh, these are the tools required. So, we need Team Executor Nandex. Nandex must be in version 3 code. If it's not in version 3 code, uh, you have to purchase some of the tools in order to update your Nandex to v 3 code. If you buy it from our online store, all the Nandex have been updated into version 3 code anyway. Uh, you also need a mini uh, USB cable. Nandex doesn't come with the cable, so you have to purchase that separately. Uh, there are two ways to solder the Nandex onto your motherboard and obtain uh, the NAND image. Uh, you can either use quick solder boards, small QSBs, these are also available, or you can simply grab the NAND X wires, cut it, pre tin this end, and simply directly solder onto the motherboard. In this video, we'll be simply uh, using the direct solder method and we'll be soldering NAND X wires directly onto the motherboard. Next, uh, we'll be using Executor, latest version of Coolrunner, Executor CR3 Lite. Uh, in order to program your Coolrunner, you can either use uh, and then next to Coolrunner update cable or you can use uh, LPT JTAG cable as well. In this video we will be using the index to Coolrunner update cable. These are the tools required in order to open up your Xbox 360 Slim Corona model. It applies to all the Corona versions, version 1, version 2 and version 3. You need Torx T8 screw with a screwdriver, Torx T10 screw with a screwdriver. You can either use small Phillips flathead screwdriver or micro twin precision screwdriver. We'll also be using X-Tool Unlock tool set. The tool that we'll be using from this kit is this. It has a pointy end. It helps in opening up both the uh, fan grills on uh, on the side of the console. So this is a very handy tool. So make sure you grab one of these. Also, if you decide we're going to remove the X clamp from our Corona motherboard, uh, this is the tool kit you need. Executor Unlock Kit Version 3. It has X clamp removal. Uh, uh, tool. This is a very handy item. It helps in opening up the X clamp and it makes the job a lot, a lot easier. You can also use micro twin precision screwdriver, but you need a lot of practice and um, it takes extra time. So best is to grab one of these. It's a very handy item. Also, uh, if you do a lot of consoles, uh, best is to grab one of these XS Pro Toolkit version four. Uh, it's specially designed to open up all the gaming consoles and major cell phones. Um, it has many, many uh, tools available, so make sure you grab one of these. Also, if this is your first time opening up your console, best is to grab a marker and grab one of these small little storage component boxes. Uh, Xbox 60 Slim has a lot of small little screws. Uh, this makes a lot easier when you are doing the disassembly and reassembly. You can put all these small little screws in these little compartments and it helps in you know opening up and closing the console. These are the soldering items needed for the whole operation. Soldering iron 30 to 40 watt, preferably a reasonable soldering station is always handy. Solder the ratio we have here is 60 by 40 and the diameter we use is 0 0.46 millimeter. Next, very important, uh, we'll be using Wharton Metals uh, high quality flux. Um, when it comes to soldering cold under, there are a couple of tricky connections. The best is to use the high quality flux so that uh, uh, the soldering process goes smooth. Uh, these are the few different forms it comes in. You can use uh, uh, gel flux like in a tube like this, you can use flux pin or you can use uh, flux bottle with liquid flux so we highly recommend using Wharton Metals uh, gel flux it's available in our online store this is the flux that we use for all our reflow repair work as well next once the soldering uh, is complete in order to clean up the residue we'll be using isopropyl alcohol some cotton balls and q-tips uh, scissors and electrical repair is needed to hold down the wires <laughs> 